guys, it's Liesl Jane. Today I'm gonna show you what I eat in a day to lose weight on a really busy day. So I've lost 40 pounds and after I'd lost about 30 pounds, I started to share on my blog about how I was losing weight and I've lost 10 pounds since then. And I've managed to keep the weight off that I've lost as well after I'd previously struggled to lose weight for years before I started to lose weight using this method. <laughs> So I'm gonna show you what I eat in a day to lose weight on a really busy day when I don't have a lot of time and how I stay healthy and kind of the things that I do to make it really easy to kind of stick to my plan. So here's what I eat in a day to lose weight on a really busy day. When I know I'm gonna have a very busy day, I'll just make some overnight oats the night before and keep it in the fridge for an easy breakfast for the next day. So I'm quickly gonna show you what I did last night to prepare my oats. What you'll need is half a cup of whole rolled oats. I'm gonna add that to a jar with half a cup of water. You can also use unsweetened almond milk if you want to, to make it a little creamier. And you can also just use a bowl if you don't have a jar. Now I'm adding two teaspoons of chia seeds. These add good protein and some healthy fats. And they also bind all of the ingredients together to make a nice porridge because they absorb water really well. Now I'll add a pinch of cinnamon and a pinch of ground vanilla powder for flavor. This is optional and I'll just mix it all together. Today I'm making strawberry overnight oats. So I'm adding half a cup of sliced strawberry pieces, but you can also use other fruit like blueberries, apple or banana. I always like to add some nuts or nut butter to my oats for extra protein. Today I'm using 14 raw almonds. This goes really nicely with the strawberries. And then this is totally optional. You can also add one teaspoon of 100% pure maple syrup to make it a little sweeter. I don't always do this. It depends on what kind of fruit I'm using to sweeten the oats. And you can also use raw honey. And of course you can add the sweetener to taste. And now the oats just need a soak in the fridge overnight. And the reason that you need to leave the oats to soak in the fridge overnight is so that the oats and the chia seeds can soak up the water and soften. It's really yummy. So I'll just cover the jar with a lid and put it in the fridge. And when I wake up in the morning, my oats are ready to eat. And I don't even need to think about making breakfast. It's perfect for a busy day. So this morning, I'm just adding the oats to a bowl and I'm topping it with one flat teaspoon of unsweetened almond butter that I've already measured out. I don't always add the extra nut butter on top if I've already got nuts mixed into it, but today I'm feeling a little bit cheeky and it also makes it look really pretty. I'm also gonna have a quick cup of tea with breakfast. Today I'm having some rooibos tea because it goes nicely with this breakfast. I'm drinking it black and unsweetened because it's naturally quite a sweet tea. I love breakfast, it's my favorite meal of the day, so I always try to take a few minutes to sit down and enjoy my breakfast. Some days are definitely more rushed though, like today, but if I've prepared my breakfast the night before and I have it ready to go in the morning, then I should have at least five minutes to sit down while I eat. When I do this, just sit down and enjoy my food. It makes me feel so much more relaxed throughout the rest of the day and definitely ready for the day. Otherwise, if I'm too busy to even do that, I can just grab my overnight oats in a jar keep the lid on it and take it with me in the morning and I'll just eat it straight out of the jar with a spoon. And you can also make enough overnight oats to last for a few days and just keep it in the fridge to keep fresh. Today I'm making a really easy lunch because I don't have a lot of time to make food or to sit and eat my lunch. I usually follow a completely gluten-free diet pretty much all the time, but every now and again, maybe once or twice a month, I'll have a slice of 100% whole grain rye bread. I like this brand because it doesn't have any funny ingredients in it. It's literally just whole grain rye bread. The slices are quite thin, but they're very big and very condensed, so they are really filling. One slice is about 140 calories, which is more than most breads. Generally, a slice of bread will be about 90 to 100 calories. Unless it's a seed bread, then it will generally be a lot more. But like I said, this is quite a big slice of bread. So I've just cut one slice in half and I've toasted it. And I'm gonna top it with some avocado slices because I think that avocado toast might just be the best easy lunch ever. I'm using one third of an avocado, which will give me some healthy fats and will help to keep me fuller for longer. And I'm just adding a little sprinkle of sea salt 
and some black pepper. So simple, but so delicious. Since I'm keeping things really simple today, I'm having an apple with lunch. I've sliced up one pink lady apple, which is my favorite kind of apple, and I'm also having some carrot sticks to munch on. Just one carrot peeled and cut into thin strips. And that's a pretty easy lunch that I've whipped up in just a few minutes. So I'll just take a few minutes to sit down and eat my lunch, and then I'll get on with my busy day. Today as a snack, I'm having a healthy peanut butter cookie. I baked a batch of these this week using my favorite three ingredient peanut butter cookie recipe. And when I make these, it's great to have one as a snack on a busy day. They're completely gluten, dairy, and sugar-free, and I love them so much. And if you measure out the batter to make 20 cookies before you bake them, then each cookie will only be 100 calories, which is the perfect amount of calories to have for a little high-protein, healthy snack. Today I'm having my peanut butter cookie with another cup of rooibos tea, because it just goes perfectly with the cookie. I'm having another quick cup of tea this evening before I make dinner just to help me relax after my busy day. I don't always drink this much tea, just FYI. I'm having green tea with mint, which is definitely one of my favorites. It always makes me feel so refreshed. I just love it. I'm having it black and unsweetened because I think mint green tea is always best like that. Tonight dinner is going to be really simple and quick to make because after a busy day I'm often tired and don't feel like making anything fancy. But I know that I'll feel the best after dinner and tomorrow morning when I wake up if I just take a few minutes to make a healthy dinner for myself. So I'm just going to make something really simple but healthy. I've sliced up a few vegetables quickly and I'm going to make a quick stir fry. So I'm adding one teaspoon of macadamia nut oil to a pan which is a good cooking oil. And I've sliced some long stem broccoli lengthways so that it cooks quicker and some red bell pepper and some zucchini as well. These vegetables are all really nice in a stir fry. And I'll just toss that around in a frying pan on the stove for a few minutes. Now I'm gonna add some sea salt, black pepper and a squeeze of lime juice for flavor. And I'm adding half a cup of cooked brown rice. I always like to keep cooked brown rice or quinoa in the fridge to add to meals like this. Now I'll just serve that on a plate and get ready to make my topping. Tonight I'm going to top my stir fry with an egg. So to do this I'll add just a little bit of macadamia nut oil to my pan again. Not a whole teaspoon, just a little bit. Then crack an egg open and add it to the pan. Adding an egg to my stir fry will add some good protein and some healthy fats to my meal. Then I'm going to add just a little sprinkle of black pepper and sea salt and just fry that on the stove quickly over medium heat. And then I can just add it on top of my stir fry. When I do add an egg to my stir fry like this, I like to keep the yolk a little runny. It's so yummy like this. Even if I've had a really busy day or if I have to do some work at night after dinner, I always just like to sit down and chill out for a bit when I eat my dinner. It just makes me feel so much more relaxed. And I think it's really important to take some time each day to do something relaxing. I'm also going to put the full recipes with a calorie breakdown for everything that I ate today over on the blog for you. I generally eat 1,100 to 1,300 calories a day to lose weight. Sometimes I'll have up to 1,400 calories in a day if I've been a lot more active than usual and decide to have a snack as well. I also drink at least 8 glasses of water in a day, sometimes more if I do an intense workout. But I'm quite petite, women with a taller frame or women who are really active every day, they may need to eat more to lose weight in a healthy way. The calories that you eat in a day to lose weight will be dependent on your current weight, your height and natural bulb and how active you generally are in a day. so much for watching this video if you want to see more what I eat in a day videos then make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and if you enjoyed it then make sure that you like it and share it and subscribe to my channel for more videos if you would like another example of what to eat in a day to lose weight I've got an eating plan for weight loss over on my blog that you can go and download I'm gonna put a link to that below this video and it's on my blog so it's free so you can go check it out if you want to thank you so much for watching I will see you soon